for all pay for all council and God. And God, the EPA funding for the Superfund site across the street in 1989, or in 1970. Okay? So I'd love to hear what you're doing. I have no problem. There's no line. I'm here to listen. 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 But I will not allow them to make false statements. Okay. You just said. No, no, no. I stop. 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 That's that's the press release. I said him. Okay. I will not allow them to make false statements. I don't know. I haven't heard him speak yet. Okay, so you knew the uh, Can you just chill? I'm not saying that it sounds like you're mad that somebody got an issue that it's going to do. I didn't answer for I didn't answer for My actions speak a lot. I didn't answer for My actions speak a lot. I'd like to say hello to Rick's opponent, Eugene McGill, who I've never met before. Mr. McGill, I called you twice to invite you to be interviewed and got no answer uh, from you. I believe I also sent you an email. I don't believe I received it. Um, I will you send... Were, perhaps you were mistaken. I don't believe so. Well, you know, that's a pretty question. Rick's opponent, Eugene McGill, in the current legislature, voted for a bill to establish the crime of eco-terrorism. We were sorry the bill passed because it chills legal environmental activity and the coercion and intimidation that it punishes are already illegal, so we think the bill is unnecessary. Is that a reason to oppose it? Mr. Bigot also voted twice to limit...